occurring across the Garden State and well beyond New Jersey borders. It comes as we approach Election Day during a bizarre and volatile year that includes both COVID and cries to defund the police. NBC 10 South Jersey Bureau reporter Sydney Long did some digging into who is now getting armed and why. On the anniversary of their one year engagement, I'll say threat. I'm going to punch back out and fire two more. Jackie Guzman and Philip Tran of Mount Laurel are spending the day at the South Jersey Shooting Club Outdoor Range in Winslow. They are first timers. I want just like the stance of it, how to properly hold because a gun, how to it. properly load in the magazine. Okay, These are all gun. things very foreign to me before today. And they are not alone. It's hit us very hard uh, in. in Right after the pandemic hit, firearms applications, gun sales, and the desire to be prepared to protect are soaring across the nation and right here in New Jersey. Some people will say that, you know, I don't know if the police are going to be able to come to my neighborhood if there's people breaking into my house because they're so tied up doing other things. Retired Mount Laurel police officer Corey Jones used to get one or two calls a month for firearms instruction. Now he's jammed, nearly booked solid with back to back lessons in gun safety. We saw a very significant, even greater increase uh, after the George Floyd uh, incident happened. Uh, people seeing, I believe, nightly news uh, uh, and just the stories of the, uh, you know, violent protests that are going on. Floyd was killed Memorial Day weekend. In June, police in Gloucester Township saw a 998% increase in applications. They got 519 compared to 52 in June last year. I don't know that there was any one event that really, you know, triggered us to, to come out and, and uh, get educated. It was just a, a curiosity. For the Guzman Tran couple, the pandemic provided them the time to train. With everything happening and there is a need for us. We want to protect our homes. We're at home more often. It is nice to have. Sydney, these are the uh, completed applications. Gloucester Township Police showed us where retired detectives are spending longer hours doing detailed background checks. It's been extremely taxing on the department. We are trying to hit on all cylinders to get them done, but the volume is uh, put a burden on backlogging uh, the approval process. Pre COVID, it was 30 days. Now it's 90. We're not in a, you know, in a particular rush. We asked, but New Jersey State Police didn't wish to be interviewed for our story. They did share that in 2019, they received more than 74,000 applications. This year, the number jumped to nearly 177,000.